Seth Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. champion, the first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. And his opponent, first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sammy Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around, over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. The incomparable Sammy Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sammy is always up for a challenge. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. triple threat. Incredible how just adding one competitor to a match can change a superstar's entire form of fighting. It totally alters their balance. Go from one opponent to two. You have to attack twice as hard and play defense twice as much. Oh, kicks. Look at these kicks. Right in the face. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, timely counter by Zayn. Vicious knee to the body. Oh, axe kick. Driving the face down. 
just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Nice yeah. right, suplex. Triple threat matches are about as dangerous as they come. So here's my advice. Be ready to take some punishment. No one wins a triple threat without getting some bumps and bruises along the way. Just get in there and fight your heart out. Sounds like a straightforward, effective approach to this unique type of match. What's he open to find down there? Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Vintage Falcon Arrow. Looks like they're looking for a neck break. Oh, forearm to the neck. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaken after that. Yeah, Rollins looked sharp there. Physically, mentally, and fashionably. Oh, man! Single leg drop kick caught him. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. Toss back into the ring. Beautiful athleticism. And I think, oh, oh yeah, Zayn is bleeding. He got whipped into that corner. Uh oh, able to interrupt the attack. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Suplex. Oh God. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. He switches it back around. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? This can do it! He kicks out with authority. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Here we go. In for the DDT! Lights out. Exploder suplex! Close line to the back of the neck. And Zane getting knocked around there. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. And when it's everybody for themselves, sometimes you just have to do what's needed to get the job done. There's common enemies everywhere. What a counter by Rollins. Stiff kick. No clue what he hopes to find down there. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Blue Thunderbomb! I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. No! Kick out of two! Somehow, some way, he is still in this. He gets back into the ring. Sammy Zane! Take down! The coach is oh, This should have been over, but he breaks the hold. That did not look good, and Shinsuke has started to bleed. Momentum fully shifted to Sammy. Rollins has to find a way to right the ship here. Yeah. Sammy Zayn with a big boot. That's going to keep Rollins down. Shinsuke showing he is not out of it. Brief sign of adrenaline from Nakamura. Basement drop kick. Ooh Saw it coming. Look out. Rollins just turned the lights out. Landslide! Cover! Two count! No, stops the count at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. And this one might be headed ringside. Funky butt loving. He's got a baseball bat. Oh, a horrific crack in the back. Just a ghastly shot. They are deep into this match, and you have to think that their stamina is right out. Yeah, at this point in the match, it starts to feel like you're fighting in mud. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. 
Locks in the pump handle. What the? Oh, oh my goodness! Seth Rollins' arrogance on full display with that gesture. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush, and he throws the opposition back into the ring. Exhausted now. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. Nasty boot by Zayn. Nakamura could be conquered. Shoulders down. Got it. Survived the triple threat match. performance from all three superstars in this match. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. another display of pure dominance. Now he is sat beneath the learning tree of the modern day Maharaja, and he is ready to show what he's learned. And representing Indus Jain from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, Fear Mahan! From 
the dugout to the squared circle. About a million reasons to watch yourself around Veer. Veer is as dangerous a force as we have ever seen in WWE. And the intimidating presence of Indus Sheer looming large in the ring here tonight. They've been a terror for the tag team division for a while now, and they're only getting more dominant with time. They're dead set on sending a message to all the tag teams in WWE. Nothing can stand in their way. And they already look primed to continue that message here. And in the opposite corner is the New Day. I, for one, would like to see a bit more seriousness than shenanigans from New Day tonight. Oh, uh, Corey, don't hate on the New Day for having some fun. We know that when the record-setting tag team is in the ring, they are more focused and more determined. Slam! Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. What a clothesline! Ouch. Big forearm. Club comes down very effective. This tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Crank in the head. Drop. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh, right on the arm. That's using your head. He can end it here. He narrowly avoids the count. He got close there. It could be do or die time. There's a tag. with a reversal. Taking off from the ropes. Right on point. Tag is registered. You never see that coming. That'll turn your lights out. The energy from this crowd. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he gets the tag. Nasty right hand, vicious in Zaguri. Oh man! Face breaker. Oh god, that hurt. Two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but you cover. And he breaks the count quickly. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Mahan with the reversal. Jarring impact. That's using your head. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Xavier Woods in with the tag. Oh, body 
high block. Comes in off the tag. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. The military press followed by the gut check. And he goes for the pin. Coming to the rescue. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Target in the stomach to reverse that maneuver. That's one of my all-time favorites. The octopus strap. Reversal and counter by him. Oh, boom! Shades of the USSR with a hammer and sickle. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. And Xavier wasn't looking too thrilled there. Yeah, and Sanga put that right. All right, Sims day. This could be it. Oh, oh my God! Driver Woods might have this wrapped up. Is it enough? The cover. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before a one count. It's stunning. Catches Woods with a counter. Uh, tag made. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh, man. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. Kofi. Oh, S-O-S. Shoulders down. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. for this tag team here tonight. I bet Zephyrs are already flaring for him to share. There might be some payback coming down the line. Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Katana Chance from the Philippines. One half of the women's tag team champions, Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT women's tag team champions in history. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. The Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. From Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper's Nibbin! No nonsense, no more gimmicks, just Piper Nibbin.
and all she wants to do is drop the competition. <laughs> that was decent, Corey. I have my moments. Niven looks ready to knock out anybody in the women's division. Caden Carter squaring off here. One of the more unique superstars in the women's division. Yeah, Carter's in-ring style has been perfectly crafted, blending brawling strikes with lucha athleticism. That combination has proven difficult for many opponents to overcome. Not to mention her toughness, Byron. Carter is not an opponent to be taken lightly. But she has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this aggressive, no-nonsense version of Piper Niven. For too long, Piper stood on the sidelines and in the background, but not anymore. It's her time now. Piper is putting the whole women's division on notice. Off into the pin. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure up. Oh, right across the solar plexus. So fast, Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Drop kick right on point. Powerless position to be in right now. Wow, right to go quickly, the cover. Raises the shoulder before the one count. At this point of the match, I'm not surprised. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. No, no, no. Oh, God. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. to avoid that kind of offense if she wants to be in this match. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Piper. And gets tossed back into the mat. Stiff headbutt. Oh, able to counter. Boom, what a kick. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Oh, Black. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Wow, running leg drop, Bulldog. Great ups. She turns it right around with a counter. Caden saw it coming. Drop kick. Beautiful. Drop toe hole, base first. Ouch, Connor. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. Caden feeling the energy, the energy from this crowd. Oop. This match continues on. Well, this matchup has been, here we go. Bang, both women down, middle of the ring. Wait, hold on. The managers are going at it now. This is insanity. Good. Send Get her out of here. And you too. Now, maybe we can focus on this match. The referee does their job and removes the ringside distractions. Great call, ref. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between... She's going for it. This could be... And a shoulder is lifted before one. Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing. And after this match, is already gone for so long. The hammerlock. Flatliner. That was an incredible display of athletics from Carter. She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there. But I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Slam. 
She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. She's pushed into the corner. Close line in the corner. Niven has the target acquired. Scoops it apart and up. Uh oh. Look out. Spiked with a Mitchin Oku driver. That can do Carter in. That's got to be it. Two. What an incredible match and win for Niven. Here is your winner, Piper Niven. A savage brawl earlier almost completely disrupted this match. But in the end, we are able to declare a winner. I think we always knew this would be a violent and scrappy match. Yeah, they definitely got put through the ringer. Good thing it turns out they can brawl with the best of them. Check on the referee. This is not the way to kick things off. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Taking flight. Bang! What a splash! Fell like a boulder out of the sky and absolutely flattened the target. Oh my goodness. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped and now it's time to walk it dry. Whoa. Look out. Slick shot sent on, yes. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast Whoa. and living dangerously. Thrown back in under the ropes. Big. She can do it here. And the referee stops the count before two. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Corey, we know what Indy Hartwell is capable of. Is that going to be too much for her opponent to handle here? Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Oh, barbaric amount of stomps. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Ooh, she just turned it around. Huge boot. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, reversal catches Hartwell. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Slam! What impact. Oh! Oh, man! This is what you call to the sky. Feeling froggy! Rio with a hell of an attack. The Eradicator driven to destroy. Ripley looking to force her opponent into submission. Submission locked in. Think about all the pain. And now about to do it, folks. Here is your winner, Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. Hey, maybe we're gonna get a handshake. Yeah, I'm actually surprised if Superstar is extending his hand and, well, oh, wait. Things did not 
go as they planned. There is no reason. How disrespectful. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? It's all about trying to embarrass this superstar's opponent in the early going. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. This match is a powder keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Oof. Oh, there's a response against Finn. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Finn Balor is such a dynamic, precise competitor in the ring. Corey, how do you take on a talent like him? Well, as extraordinary as Balor may be, he's still a man, and no man is perfect. Be on the lookout for little mistakes and simply capitalize. Keep on it. And now thrown back into the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. And Balor is firing up the crowd here. Pop way up, driven down into a backbreaker. And Balor's being picked apart now. Capitalizing on Balor's little mistakes in the ring, he found his opening here. Just disrespectful. But I guarantee they're gonna take great umbrage with that offense. No harm in seeing if he could finish him off quick there. Saw that one coming, took advantage. He moves just in time. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. Finn's getting exposed. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Ooh, clothesline delivered. for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. Climbing to the top rope. From the top. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Crashing and burning and... Maybe that will shut him up. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Hoisted up and spiked. And I think Finn just silenced every shred of skepticism with that move. He's looking a little off balance. <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here, and he gets set back into the ring. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. That's gonna hurt. Where's Finn going now? Up high. Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. He thought he had it. Balor has him marked. Balor hoisted him up. 19 16. Did Balor secure a win? It was definitely a hard-fought victory.
victory as they had something to prove going into this. Well, they might have won this match with the goal of getting respect in mind, but I just hope they didn't poke the bear. Come on, Corey. It's a celebration. Okay, here we go. Matchup just about ready to get underway. A lot of tension between these two men, and well, how about this? Handshake possibly? Yeah! All right! He wasn't quite expecting that, but that makes me happy. It's because you're a dork. Well, I know Graves isn't going to like this, but that was mutual respect between the competitors. Of course I like it. That just means they're not going to hold anything back in this matchup. Well, this match has started, and you always love to see that mutual appreciation before the bell. Sportsmanship like that is something you have to earn in the WWE. I agree with you, Saxton. That's not just something you get when you walk in the door. Oh, toss the side. Look at it catch him off guard. the shoulder way too early. Incoming. Big time power bomb. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. He's absorbed some damage already. The monster among men letting loose some power there. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Jay looking powerless to every attack. Whoa. Finding out exactly what it means to get these hands. Uh-oh. Clear it off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Whip back into the ring. A monster's on a rampage. Somehow Jay's got to turn the momentum around. And down. And will this be it? And he easily stops the ref's count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. The monster of all monsters turning his gaze towards the crowd. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Bang! A little cockiness here from Jay. He went right into that turnbuckle. Big headbutt. Foot to the midsection. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Look at this suicide dive. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Drop kick right on point. And Strowman couldn't get his hands on him to prevent that move. Jay's confidence really showed in that maneuver. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. A continuous attack on Strowman. Yeah, Jay has all the wheels turning now. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Four. Lands the elbow. He's heading up top. Thinking big. From the top. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Basement drop kick. An impressive sequence from Jay. Rod is being completely neutralized. Looking for a high risk move. Blast off. What a forearm smash. Competitive 
spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh, oh my God. God. Jay taking his offense to the top rope. Uso catches nothing but air. He is just reeling from that off. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. An agile escape. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Hurled away. God. Shoulder tackle. Jay is in a very vulnerable position here. Well, they're looking to put this thing away. Well, the monster of all monsters with a monster slam. Will it pay off for Braun Strowman? Strowman? Oh, a kick out, kick out of two. An emphatic kick out from Jey Uso. How in the world did he get the shoulder up? As a puzzled look comes across Strowman, he has no answers as to why that didn't earn him a count of three. Strowman glaring at his soon-to-be victim. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. This spells trouble for Braun. Two. Oh, he kicked out. The tenacity of Strowman to kick out after taking such a crushing maneuver. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You got to wonder what else he's got to do to put him away. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. This is a very dangerous situation now. Monsters don't impart much fear when they're in this position. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. What a punch! These two are clearly fired up going blow for blow. Jay puts a stop to that. Boom! Quick thinking pays off. And it looks like that one opened up a pretty good gash on Strowman. Oh my God, and DDT! This could be it, cover for the win! That will end it! Here is your winner! Maybe this When you share mutual respect with your opponent, it can give you a confidence boost. It looks like that boost helped one more than the other here, though. Come on, Byron, not everyone can win. I have to say, seeing this win is a great example to set for the entire WWE Universe. Respect, skill, and the victory? I agree, Byron. Championship. Here comes the man. When you're Becky Lynch, every night is a perfect one to start a fight.
Big time matchup underway with Becky Lynch more than ready for the challenge ahead of her. Becky Balboa has no problem taking on all comers and bringing the fight right to him. It might not always be the smartest strategy, but it has put her on the top of the mountain a time or three. And that proverbial mountaintop is where Becky is at her best, that's for sure. And none of that matters to Liv Morgan, because she's going to bring the fight to her no matter what. That all-out, can't-stop, won't-stop attitude has paid off big for Liv in the past. She knows that she can do incredible things if she simply ignores the limits others try to put on her. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Liv gets her back. Oh, shotgun drop kick. She's going for the cover. Only a two count. I am surprised the count went that far. A ah, jumping stop to the gut. Shoulder tackle. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Slam. And Becky there wasn't looking her best when she took that shot. Yeah, but too soon from the top. Splash! Constant pressure being kept on Becky. The man's got to figure something out. <sighs> what does Liv Morgan have to do here to get the... Front phase lock. And the ropes will break this one up. Well, it looks like she got a new lease on life here, Michael. But can she capitalize? Left by the turnbuckles. Becky holds her off. Series of reversals. Morgan on the receiving end. Lynch reversing the momentum on her. It's time for Becky to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Snap suplex. Set out Matt Slam. Carefully measured knee drop. Becky definitely felt every last bit of that blow. Liv not afraid to bring the fight to her or anyone who gets in her way. Targeting the leg. Uh-oh. This is not going to be good. This could be it. Are we going to see a tap? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Stiff elbow will break that up. Nicely done with the head scissors. Oh, stop. Oh, what a kick. Morgan off the ropes. Two for one face breaker. Morgan using every ounce of grit she has to execute that move. Oof, kick finds it. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Great height. Extraordinary offense from Morgan. Liv is holding nothing back. Morgan's starting to think she might have this one in the bag. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Flying. Oh, God. And now gets tossed into the ring. That should do it right there. And still in this. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oof, 
caught by surprise with that uppercut. Looking to plant her with a DDT. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Measured kick to the vertebrae. She's showing signs of slowing now. Well, safe to say, Becky's definitely trying to send a message right now. And we just saw some serious offense. Becky Lynch, hammerlock into the reverse DDT. And now Liv is under immense pressure. Yeah, Morgan has to devise a new plan here. Oh, man, leg drop, arm breaker. She's got it, got her shoulders down. And the count stopped short of two. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. further. Yeah, Becky has seemingly had an equal or opposite answer to her competition's offense. Oh! Lynch's strategy paying dividends. Gonna be tough to slow Becky down now. Becky. And the man handle slam. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I have no idea where Liv Morgan just found the strength to kick out like that. All right, look out. Diamond leg drop from the top rope. Becky added a little something extra there. She stepped up to this challenge and is letting everyone know. I don't know how these two have anything left to give after what we've seen here. Lynch and Liv, neither one giving it. Morgan takes her opponent down. And again. Captures the leg, and a back leg sweep by Morgan. This match has been history in the... Jumping complete shot. Lynch is done. Cover! Oh, she kicked out. Becky is alive, and the fire is still burning. You come as the man, you'll have to come harder than that. And with that outcome, maybe Liv just saw this one slip through her fingers. the counter. Liv Morgan. Two on one. Face breaker. Cover. There's two. Kick out. She still has life. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Liv's looking for the final exclamation. Jumping complete shot. Face first. Can Liv put things away here? Makes the cut! Liv Morgan got it! Here is your winner, Liv Morgan! Liv Morgan is smiling ear to ear after gaining the win over Becky Lynch here tonight. Becky Lynch has to be absolutely fuming right now. This is a tough loss for her. But looking at these two right now, I don't think either Lynch or Morgan believes the score has been settled.
McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. Tire in the ring, and he's looking all business here. When that bell rings, it's like a switch is flipped inside of McIntyre, Michael. You'd be hard pressed to find another superstar in WWE's locker room with the heart, resilience, and willingness of Drew McIntyre. Time and time again, we've seen those innate characteristics of Drew change the tide of a match completely. Yeah, Byron. Figure four. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. <laughs> Bruising attack to the stomach. Look at this. Is Drew McIntyre. How do you prepare for a showdown with someone like Drew McIntyre, who just charges straight into a fight? Treat the Scottish warrior as you would a charging bull. He might charge headstrong into an inopportune situation if you can plan correctly. Or you could catch Drew off guard with some innovative offense. Bottom line, be creative. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. And a kick. Picking the leg. Oh, we gotta see it. There it is. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Sky high. Way up there. Two. And he kicks at it. Two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Short clothesline. was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Brock down with a neck breaker. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. Ah, oh, a stomp. Offense like that is why Drew McIntyre's a game changer. Scary to think what Drew has in store next. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Pedigree by Rhodes! 
That is why I say Cody Rhodes has achieved his final form. The guy in the plastic mask could have never done that. And I like that guy. Boom. Ah, striking with an A. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Compromised position here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Connecting with a sharp elbow. These two going strike for strike, it seems. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. And he's able to counter. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all around. These two having an answer for everything. Oof. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Finish Rhodes for good. Looking for the victory. Two. No, he beats the count. The American Nightmare able to persevere here. Absolutely incredible. The Scottish Warrior thought he had his opponent's number there, but he was sorely mistaken. And well-timed maneuver there. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. He wins. He wins. Here is your winner. It's all over, and McIntyre stands victorious. In the end, Rhodes had nowhere to go. She knows what they have to say. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing the Viking Raiders, the Mahana. Now, Hala competed all over the world before coming to WWE, though she has certainly transformed since she returned. All that training, plus her Viking experiences, have made her very dangerous. Bahala has simply become unhinged. There's no telling what she's going to do anymore. Valhalla, who takes her name from the place warriors go when they die. A bad sign for Valhalla's opposition. This ring is about to turn into a battlefield. And Valhalla won't settle for anything short of total decimation.
She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. as one of the most talented in-ring competitors. But according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Here comes the number one gal from the Alpha Academy. A model student in more ways than one. And representing the Alpha Academy from Phoenix, Arizona, Maxine Dupree. A woman who joined WWE in search of the top modeling talent, but is now competing alongside the Alpha Academy. Well, once you find a model like Otis, you really can't get any better. I'll have to take your word for it, Saxton. Please do. Sometimes Maxine pulls off moves that leave me speechless. Would you say that you've been shooed? I would not. Oh, man. Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. superstar on the roster in WWE than Xia Li. Xia Li brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. Some just want to get through. Others want to... 
inflict as much damage as possible and some will just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Agility like that, easier said than done. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. She breaks the hold. Go behind. German, nine! Bang, drop kick. She can end it here. And there's the save. But now here's Stark. From behind. Back suplex. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Holy cow. That chair came in on the back.
can't believe it. And look at this has been a jaw-dropping contest of wills. These superstars just refusing to. From the first row. Just keeps getting more and more exciting. Sometimes when you unleash your best 